Ariana DeBose, welcome to The Daily Show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't think I was supposed to put my hands no, on the you, table No, we're yet. talking. We're talking. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> yeah, man, welcome to... It's really good to have you here, especially now. Like, you know, some people, if they're Broadway aficionados, have seen you. You know, you, you've, you've been... Just, I think you've been grinding at this thing in Broadway with 10 years, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Where you've done everything, every different type of production. You're a consummate performer, singer, dancer, actress, everything all in one. But it feels like this is your moment. Like, it, 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 you know where the overnight success comes together after 10 years? <laughs> yeah. It yeah. feels like that's that moment. Does it feel the same way for you? Yeah, uh, I hesitate to say it, but yes. Um... Why do you hesitate? I'm really enjoying it. Like I'm having fun. I don't want want it to go away. You know, moments they're moments. They're like they're they're fleeting, ephemeral, fleeting. No, 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 not at all. But like like but COVID you... is a moment. Co and look how long it's going for. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. Yes. So um I'm just um whatever it is, however anyone interprets it, I'm just enjoying whatever this is while it lasts. And because it's been really fun. I mean it's not every day you get to make a movie with Steven Spielberg and and what you're asked to execute is actually something right. that you do. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to do other kinds of homework, but the bones of what this job is, I got that. I this love is that. great. I love that. And yeah. it, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's also unique to be in a position where you're having fun, the audience is having fun watching you have fun, yeah. and then the critics are having fun as well. Like, that's the perfect combination of what you'd like in art, you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Screen Actors Guild nomination, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Golden Globe winner, congratulations. Thank you. Right? Thank you very much. Um, like, it, it just feels like you, you're in this world. Uh, NAACP award as well, I should mention. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's also another nomination. I was, I was really honored by, by, I'm honored by it all. I'm I'm very grateful for the opportunities to be seen, especially for artists of color. Right. Like it feels like we're all starting to have a different kind of moment right mm -hmm. now. And most of our work is not only being seen, but considered and valued in different ways. And so that's really the heart of why I'm so excited. I think it's an honor for anyone who gets to talk to you because of what you're doing and all of the mediums you're doing it in. Like, Triple Threat gets thrown around a lot. You know, people are like, oh, you're Triple, you're a singer, you're a dancer. It but does. you really are that, you know? SNL was one of the thank best you. examples. Congrats, by the way. Oh my God, thank you. I Thank you. I had a lot of fun on that show. You look like you did. You did so well that, like, I've seen people crush it on SNL. I have seen very few people crush it to the point where people watching are like, where, where's her SNL? Where's her show? <laughs> now, that would be fun. No, people were saying I that. People were like, when that. is Ariana doing her own thing? Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm actually not, not so shy about the fact that I really want to bring the, like, variety show back. Like, I really want to do it. So if anybody wants to hit me up on that, cool, cool. <laughs> um, it seems like, to me, you are soon becoming the puzzle piece that everyone is going to have to figure out how to fit around. <laughs> that's cool. I've never been, I've never had that. No, I, I feel like I, I've I, ever had that. I so genuinely nice. feel like that is what you are, you are very quickly becoming. I mean, West Side Story is... Few films get remade with as much pressure as this one has had. Yeah. You are playing a role that is arguably one of the most important roles in not just film history, but then, like, in, in the history Thank of you. so many Latina actresses yeah. where they go, like, this was... This was it, you know? Yeah. This was the Rita Moreno moment that changed film for a lot of people. Yeah. It had an influence in your life. Yes, it did. I know I saw it when I was, gosh, I guess about like six or seven, you know? And I didn't understand who she was, but I understood she sort of looked like me and I wanted to dance just like her. And then in, not until my adulthood did I really understand the full spectrum of, of what West Side Story did for her, mm -hmm. what, it, what and what she came to mean to our community, but then mm. also the struggles that she faced after winning an Oscar. You know, it's like she became the first Latina to win an Oscar, and then all of a sudden there was no work. Right. So she had to find other ways to expand her career. And I, as it makes me very sad that that was her experience, but also when you look at her breadth of work, she showed you that Latinas are not, we don't just do this, we do this. Mm. And that's really cool. I mean, I think specifically related to West Side Story, my being Afro-Latina, that makes me especially proud of what I've been able to accomplish mm -hmm. because we really are not represented on screen. And I don't think that any film is a perfect film, but I do think the fact that we, that my inclusion in this film works 
we're the beginnings of getting it right. I like that. And if Steven can do it, one of the greatest directors of all time, because he is, um, then I think everybody else can. He's one of the greatest directors of all time, but you said you said no to him when he asked you to read lines <laughs> well, in the I, audition. I did, but that was simply because uh, I had found out about this audition very, very last minute. I was on Broadway at the time. Uh -huh. I was playing Donna Summer, which was a very challenging role for me, and leading a company it does, it takes a lot out of you. And I don't make a habit of going into a room with anyone in it and being unprepared. Do you? No, Do you like no, being unprepared? No, but if I, like, that's, that's the difference. If I walked into a room, and Steven Spielberg was in this room. <laughs> Let's say I walked into the elevator in this building, and then it was Steven Spielberg, and then he said, Trevor, I need you to read these lines. I'd just start reading the you lines. you start reading them? I wouldn't be like, no, Steven <clears throat> Spielberg, I haven't prepared. I would just read. You said, you said no. I said no, because I wanted, I was like, this is, I'm not prepared to show you a viable interpretation of this character, and I would wow. rather do that than, I'd rather give you something that's usable than give you something that's like, oh my God, thank you so much for coming in, and next. like. I want to, if I was gonna do it, it already took a lot of guts for me to walk into the room because I didn't actually believe that I'd ever be considered for the job, mm -hmm. let alone get the job. Um, then I was gonna do it and do it well. In a way, I feel like you saying no to doing it incorrectly and wanting to do it your way and the best way possible is part of your character. Like that's, that's who Amita <laughs> sort of is she, in West is. Side Story. It is, that is who she is at her heart. And I think a lot of my characters, like, there are different bits of me within them, mm -hmm. and that is the part of me that is Anita, so. Before I let you go, I'd love to talk about <laughs> one of the most, uh, just like, amazing moments in, in, in film, and, and that is when a character who has created a moment in history comes back to the film. Yeah. Obviously, I'm speaking about Rita yeah. Moreno, who comes back yeah. in West Side Story, playing a different role, but comes back as an executive producer, mm -hmm. and then you're in a scene with her. I wonder if that if that was a lot of pressure for you. Was there any moment that you shared with her where you were like, okay, this is this is my thing that I've sort of inherited from her, and I have the <laughs> opportunity to turn it into what I want? I mean, we we spoke briefly at the beginning of the process, but she was very supportive. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> she, she made me feel very comfortable and just encouraged me to bring everything that made me unique to the character oh, and nice. just let me, gave, gave me permission in her own energetic way to fly. And now the scene you're talking about is, it's deep, heavy subject matter. And so I sort of shifted into just focusing on who the characters were and playing the truth of the characters. Cause if I'd actually thought about, all right, now you're going to yell at Rita Moreno. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody, if it hadn't been me, I don't think anybody would have been comfortable right, with doing that. Right. So. Well, you know what? You did it. You, you, you looked more than comfortable. I mean, you, you, you're just sailing. And uh, congratulations on the award. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the nominations and everything that you're going to achieve. Um, thank you for joining me on thank the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. West Side Story is in theaters right now. You definitely want to go and watch it. <laughs>